Hey guys, welcome back. So uh, yesterday I had recorded a camera quality between comparison between the 23 megapixel and the 8 megapixel, but there was some problem in the software in terms of the aspect ratio. So here I'm doing it again. Right now uh, we are on 23 megapixel 4x3 aspect ratio in superior auto. Half pressing the shutter button, everything becomes sharp. Now let's go to the 8 megapixel. 8 megapixel and 16 by 9 half shutter everything sharp and finally let's take a shot in manual mode ISO manually set to 50 um, let's take a 2 megapixel shot first I'm noticing today um, the phone is getting a bit warm as you can see on the screen some functions are disabled by temperature rise so I'm not sure what's happening there so let's quickly take a look at the image quality. This is a 2 megapixel shot. Very sharp. If you just see it this way, it looks very good. Um, but once you zoom in, you start losing details. But however, I still see, uh, would say that this is fairly usable when you're use, using it for uploading on Facebook and Instagram. And it even saves on a lot of storage and memory. It's just a 1 MB picture. So uh, this is the... 8 megapixel picture just let's confirm that yes an 8 megapixel ISO uses 40 and straight away the colors pop a bit more anyway it's pretty sharp nice fine details on the trees not so much on the background tree there a bit smushed out but uh, that is quite far I would say at least 500 600 meters away from here so overall pretty good now let's take a look at the 23 megapixel shot straight away a lot more colors 8.83 mb that's quite a lot so uh, let's see the kind of details we get here much more finer details present in the 23 megapixel shot so I would say that if you're using it in bright sun outdoors 23 megapixel is very usable it gives more details and uh, you could also see the dynamic range of the sky it's not just one single color of blue it's got different shades of blue which is quite good in my opinion there's the 8 megapixel and there's the 23 megapixel now another thing I would like to if you want to add a bit more pop in your pictures Let's just go to superior auto. Let's keep it to 23 megapixel. And color and brightness. This is a very good feature. So what we could do here is um, we could first of all increase or decrease the exposure. Let's just increase the exposure a bit. So it's increased a bit and let's just take the white balance, the temperature, to a bit warmer. To warm up and spice up things a bit. Now let's focus on the date palm tree, half press, sharp, everything becomes sharp, click, there it is. Now let's see what difference does that make. Straight off the bat we can say that um, it looks a bit more punchier. It's just a personal preference, personal taste but I feel if you're taking landscapes and greenery especially, if you warm up the colors a bit, uh, it's all the more appealing that way. So that's another thing to keep in mind. And let's test the uh, front facing camera quickly. I don't know how I'm looking because the sun is straight in my face. So uh, let's see the quality. I would say pretty good quality, you can even see some sweat on my face. Overall pretty good I would say. So uh, that's it guys, if you want to uh, know anything more about the camera or any of its features, do let me know and I will, I will be doing a video on that. Alright guys, so until next time.
see ya.